Okay, so so we are live now. Hello, everyone. I hope uh, you can see us. Sorry for uh, the technical issues. We joined in a little late, but I hope you are live on Facebook. So if you can just type in your comments and let us know. Okay, so good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to this session on uh, coping strategies. We are trying to cope with technology here. Uh, overuse of technology is not good, so I think we have been struggling with that. Uh, welcome to this session, and uh, we had uh, last month we had a series of mental health and well-being sessions where we had discussed various topics about uh, you know uh, mental health including depression anxiety uh, you know work from home challenges relationship challenges and we also spoke about uh, uh, you know the various aspects of uh, you know how to stay positive and and happy and uh, now i think uh, we are in a stage where uh, if you see the slide up there, the new normal uh, COVID times. So I think we are uh, going to be living with COVID for some time to come. And uh, uh, from, a, from a way it has impacted our life, I think uh, there are various aspects to this. One is, you know, uh, it, our routine has obviously got disrupted. There is uncertainty. Uh, there's insecurity for various reasons and anxiety. And uh, overall, the, the whole, uh, uh, from an individual's point of view, I think we are, we are looking at the health and well-being of the individual, the family relationships, how are we dealing with the family relationships during COVID, our work life, as well as our socialization, because that has taken a huge hit with the you know changed uh, social distancing norms so today we have two experts here uh, two mental health experts dr jayashree and uh, minakshi they are both clinical psychologists so welcome jayashree welcome minakshi and uh, so minakshi uh, jayashree over to you uh, 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 how you know how can you uh, what would you like to share about how health and well being needs to be taken care of and why is this a priority today uh, for uh, everyone and what is your advice on how we can improve it? Thanks a lot, Archana. I think one of the things that's definitely here to stay as part of the new normal is um, a, a modified way in which we have to now start thinking about our health and well-being. So definitely, as Archana was mentioning, there's been a complete disruption of what the way that we used to live our daily lives previously. Um, we're now more cautious about going out. Um, we're handling different roles in different ways. And all of this does impact our uh, health and our well-being in different ways. I think one of the things that we've been getting a lot of queries about is um, sleep disturbances. So this is something that has been impacting a lot of people. And I think this is really the first thing that we all need to be very aware of. And it's something that we need to really see how we can um, you know, get the required amount of sleep that we need, even though you know, many other things may have taken a hit. So because of this disruption, you know, because we're at home now more than before, a lot of people are, uh, you know, have this challenge of not being able to sleep in the night. You know, they, they go to sleep late, watching movies. Um, you know, they're, they're just not able to sleep. Uh, they're waking up in the middle of the night. So we're seeing a lot more people uh, experiencing insomnia. And all of this is a problem because it does take a toll on your physical as well as your mental health. You know, sleep scientifically is the time period when the body uh, undergoes various restorative, rejuvenative processes. And therefore, it's very, very important that we get a restful night's sleep. So 
it's you know one myth is that you think that just because you're at home you know you're working from home or something that you can um not follow a you know your regular sleep cycle that's that's something you really need to avoid definitely try to go to sleep on time the same time every day try to wake up at the same time every day so that your body adjusts to that pattern so that's something that we really need to focus on the second thing um and i know i've also been kind of a little lax in this is you know following a really good nutritious diet i i don't know how many of you out there are finding this challenging it's very challenging for me too i know a lot of my friends and colleagues uh, you know have been experimenting in the kitchen and you know we've been uh, eating a lot more junk than previously but definitely nutrition is also very very important um it plays a huge role in maintaining our overall physical health so just to mention i know a, a lot of people have diabetes and hypertension and you know the basic you know good foods vegetables uh, you know nutritious diet is absolutely important to keep your sugar levels your uh, you know your uh, your any high blood pressure in check um what you need to avoid is binging out because uh, you know you have the time or the chance to experiment in the kitchen and you know uh, really or you don't feel like cooking because a lot of people are now burdened with the household work and it's uh, you know it's it's easier to just uh, eat uh, something that's packaged or you know take a shortcut uh, in the kitchen so those are the kind of things you need to avoid because otherwise it will impact your um your physical health so related to both of these things exercise exercise is absolutely key because it's something that's going to help overall maintaining your physical well being um it's again very good for if you are have any of these lifestyle uh, conditions that i was just mentioning whatever exercise is possible i mean i know minakshi i i don't know whether you've been getting a lot of queries from people asking whether it's okay to you know go, how how do you go out for a walk wearing a mask um this is something that i've been asked a lot about you know people are saying ki mask pehen ke to bahut hi zyada dikkat hoti hai so it's it's something that people just can't do but whatever is possible for you to do do that and incorporate some aspect of um you know some re- relaxation just to um also keep uh keep the anxiety levels low and we've spoken about this previously as well unless we practice relaxation techniques it doesn't come easily so you know whatever works for you whether it could be meditation it could be yoga whatever you're finding um works for you do that and it's also really important to take out some time for yourself and engage in some hobbies some pleasurable activity a lot of people are learning um you know trying their hands out on something new online right now um do these things because that helps you to relax um and all of these are really important um not only for your physical well-being but also for your mental well-being and um i think one question that we get asked a lot by people who have pre-existing conditions is should we go to the hospital if we have a problem how do we connect with our doctors so it's very important that if you have underlying conditions don't ignore your regular health checkups um doctors are available online via teleconsultation some vedna has been providing telemedicine and teleconsultation services um reach out to your your medical um health provider your physician whom you regularly see or someone who's available over teleconsultation mode in case you are having any kind of physical health related problem um that's the easiest way to seek medical help right now uh during these covid times and here i just want to emphasize it's important also to not only seek help for physical conditions that you may have a lot of concerns about and we've been getting a lot of concerns about people you know experiencing covid symptoms but um also about any kind of mental health related concerns so if you're experiencing symptoms of anxiety that are becoming difficult to handle or you're feeling very low not able to um you know get motivated to go through the day it's really important that you reach out to for a teleconsultation so that you can get the help at the earliest 
So I think these are just some important things that we need to keep in mind so that we can uh, maintain our health and well-being through these COVID times. And um, I mean, whatever I've spoken about is really from a very individual perspective. So um, I, I know, Minakshi, another thing that you also get a lot of queries about is uh, challenges that people are facing in families. Um, maybe, could you share your thoughts on that? Yes, sure, definitely. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me here. डॉक्टर जयश्री ने अभी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट कुछ चीजें हमें बताएं कि हम अपनी इंडिविजुअली हेल्थ का और वेलबींग का ध्यान कैसे रख सकते हैं सो बहुत बेसिक चीजें होती हैं खाना ठीक से खाना एक्सरसाइज करना या सोना ये हमें हर कोई कहता है हर कोई डॉक्टर बताता है लेकिन हम सोचते हैं कि ये तो बड़ी नॉर्मल चीजें हैं वाई आर वी डूइंग दिस तो अगर हम इसका एक साइंटिफिक बेसिस भी देखें तो इससे एक्चुअली आपके बॉडी में चेंजेस आते हैं यू एक्सपीरियंस यू नो बायोकेमिकल चेंजेस इन योर बॉडी जिससे कि आप और हैप्पी फील करते हैं आप और यू नो काम फील करते हैं आपकी एनजाइटी कम होती है उसके अलावा जो प्रोमोटिव एक्टिविटीज यानी कि जो वेलबींग को बढ़ाने वाली एक्टिविटीज होती हैं वो हो सकती हैं रिलैक्सेशन मेडिटेशन या योगा जो कि आपको काम डाउन करती है या जो कि आपकी वो अराउजल वाली स्टेट से आपको शांति वाली स्टेट पर लेकर आती है सो एक वो चीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तीसरी एक चीज जो कि आपको अभी बताई गई कि टेली कंसल्टेशन जब हम बात करते हैं न्यू नॉर्मल की तो न्यू नॉर्मल ये है कि हम डॉक्टर को फिजिकली जाकर नहीं मिल पा रहे हैं हम बहुत बार अपने घर से ही उनको कंसल्ट कर सकते हैं जो कि आजकल पॉसिबल हो गया है टेक्नोलॉजी इतनी ज्यादा आपके यू नो डोर स्टेप तक आ गई है कि आप डॉक्टर को घर बैठे ही मिल सकते हैं घर बैठे ही आपको दवाई भी मिल जाएगी घर बैठे ही आपका सब कुछ हो जाएगा बट हमें थोड़ा सा सतर्क रहना पड़ेगा कि हम इस चीज को इग्नोर ना करें अगर हम में या हमारे अपनों में किसी तरह के साइंस नोटिस कर रहे हैं कि किसी तरह की तकलीफ है चाहे वो फिजिकल हो चाहे वो इमोशनल हो चाहे वो स्ट्रेस रिलेटेड हो कोई भी तरह की तकलीफ अगर आप नोटिस कर रहे हैं तो प्लीज टेली कंसल्टेशन एक बहुत अच्छा तरीका है उससे डील करने का और उसको एड्रेस करने का सो so, ये चीजें आप हमेशा ध्यान में रखें यू नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम डाइट एंड एक्सरसाइज आप प्रोमोटिव एक्टिविटीज में भी एंगेज करें अपने आप को रिलैक्स रखने की कोशिश करें ज्यादा से ज्यादा और अगर तब की दिक्कत बनी रहती है सो ऑलवेज यू कैन यू नो गो फॉर टेली कंसल्टेशन सो दीज आर अ फ्यू थिंग्स दैट यू नो डॉक्टर जयश्री हैड डिस्कस एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू समराइज दैम दूसरी चीज एक आती है कि फैमिली में हम क्या कर सकते हैं इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे तो हमने ये दस चीजें कर ली लेकिन परिवार में हम क्या कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अब रहना तो इसी परिवार के साथ है हम महीनों से इसी छोटे से क्लोज स्पेस में इनके साथ रह रहे हैं हो सकता है कि बीच में कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स भी आए हो सकता है कि बीच में बात होनी बंद हो जाए या झगड़े होने लग जाए बट ये अभी कुछ टाइम तक रहने वाला है क्योंकि आपकी पर्सनल स्पेस जो है बहुत छोटी हो गई है तो जितनी कम पर्सनल स्पेस होगी उतने कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स के चांसेस भी ज्यादा रहेंगे सो so, आपको पहली बात ये समझनी पड़ेगी कि अगर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स आ रहे हैं तो उसका कारण क्या हो सकता है क्योंकि हम कई बार सिर्फ गुस्सा हो जाते हैं लेकिन हमें पता ही नहीं होता कि कारण क्या है हम क्यों नाराज हैं हम क्यों उनसे बात नहीं कर रहे हैं तो अगर हम प्रॉब्लम को आइडेंटिफाई कर लें तो हमारे लिए उसको रिजोल्व करना उसका सोल्यूशन ढूंढना थोड़ा आसान हो जाता है बट अगर पता ही नहीं है कि प्रॉब्लम है क्या तो उसका सोल्यूशन ढूंढना भी थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाएगा तो यहाँ पे दूसरी चीज आती है कम्युनिकेशन कि मुझे कम्युनिकेट करना है कि मुझे प्रॉब्लम हो रही है अब मुझे क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रही है पहले मुझे समझना और दूसरे को समझाना मान लो कि मुझे अपने पेरेंट्स से प्रॉब्लम है कि वो इस हालात में भी बाहर जाके ग्रोसरी शॉपिंग करते हैं तो बजाय आप उनसे नाराज हो जाए आप उनको क्लियरली ये बोले कि देखिए पापा मुझे प्रॉब्लम है कि आप बाहर जाएंगे आपको इन्फेक्शन होने का रिस्क तो बजाय उसके आप घर पे रहिए ये काम मैं कर देती हूँ सो एक तरीका है जिससे आप कम्युनिकेशन करके प्रॉब्लम का हल ढूंढ सकते हैं बजाय कि उसको हम सिमर होने दें या हम उसको वही यू नो प्रॉब्लम को कुक होने दें उससे अच्छा है कि उसको एड्रेस करके वहीं पर खत्म कर दिया जाए ये होता है कि कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हम आते ही उसको खत्म करते अगर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स नहीं है अगर रिलेशनशिप्स ठीक ठाक चल भी रहे हैं 
तो भी हमें ये समझना पड़ेगा कि दूसरे लोग भी इंसान है हो सकता है उनको कोई तकलीफ हो रही हो हो सकता है किसी चीज को लेकर उनके मन में कुछ उधेड़ गुन चल रही हो कुछ सोच रहे हो किसी चीज को लेकर वो स्ट्रेस्ड आउट हो तो हमें एक पर्सपेक्टिव लेना पड़ेगा कि वो इंसान किस चीज को लेकर परेशान हो सकता है एम्पथी थोड़ी सी होना यानी कि दूसरे के सिचुएशन को समझते हुए उनके साथ व्यवहार करना ये बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है अब बहुत सारे लोगों की जिंदगी में इतने ज्यादा बदलाव आ गए हैं जो इंसान पहले आता जाता था बाहर अब वो सिर्फ घर पे रहता है तो आप खुद सोच सकते हैं कि कितना ज्यादा स्ट्रेसफुल होता होगा सो so, जितना तनाव हम फील कर रहे हैं उतना ही हमारे परिवार वाले भी फील करते हैं तो बजाय कि हम उनको गुस्सा करें या उनसे झगड़े या उनसे बात करना बंद कर दें उसके बजाय अगर हम थोड़ा सा उनका नजरिया समझने की कोशिश कर लें तो ये बहुत लंबे समय तक आपकी मदद कर सकता है एक बॉन्ड बनाने में क्योंकि तो जितना ज्यादा आप समय साथ बिता रहे हैं वो एक बॉन्डिंग टाइम की टाइम की ये भी हम कंसिडर कर सकते हैं कि नो अभी साथ में ही रहना है हो सकता है कि ये शायद पूरा साल भी ऐसा बीत जाए तो साथ रहते रहते शायद हम रिलेशनशिप्स के ऊपर थोड़ा सा काम कर सकें थोड़ा सा हम कम्युनिकेशन अपनी इम्प्रूव कर सकें क्योंकि कम्युनिकेशन जो है अगर नहीं होगी तो आपके लिए मुश्किल रहेगा ये अगले चार छह महीने बिताना सो ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन कम्युनिकेटिंग अबाउट योर प्रॉब्लम एक और बहुत छोटी सी चीज जो कि हम अक्सर नजरअंदाज कर देते हैं कि टाइम स्पेंड करना बॉन्ड बनाना इंटरजेनरेशनल बॉन्डिंग की बात हम अक्सर करते हैं लेकिन हम उसके लिए क्या कर रहे हैं उसके लिए कौन से स्टेप्स ले रहे हैं क्या हम उनके साथ समय बिताते हैं क्या हम उनसे बात करते हैं क्या हम अपने फैमिली मेंबर्स को पूछते हैं कि वो कैसे हैं या उनको किसी चीज की जरूरत तो नहीं है या वो कुछ करना चाहते हैं उनका कुछ करने का मन कर रहा है अब ये चीजें काफी हद तक हम अपने सीनियर फैमिली मेंबर्स के साथ कर सकते हैं क्योंकि वो जितने ज्यादा उम्र होती जाती है उतना ज्यादा लोनलीनेस भी आता जाता है उतने ज्यादा वो कट ऑफ भी होने लग जाते हैं अपनी बात जाहिर नहीं करते हैं तो अगर हम एज अंगर जनरेशन की बात करते हैं तो हम उनसे पूछ सकते हैं कि आपकी क्या नीड जरूरत है और हम कैसे उसकी पूर्ति कर सकते हैं या कैसे उसको कंप्लीट कर सकते हैं तो इट इज ऑल अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन जितना ज्यादा कम्युनिकेशन रहेगा उतना ज्यादा कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कम रहेंगे उतना ही ज्यादा आपके रिलेशनशिप्स हैप्पी बन सकते हैं आप भी खुश रहेंगे बाकी परिवार वाले भी खुश रह सकते हैं Nominakshi, I think these are really very important points that you've highlighted. Um, obviously, in a family, when we're spending so much time together and we're not able to get out, get our space from each other, because that's also very important, like we used to do previously. The chances of experiencing conflicts over various kind of things also increases, and you've highlighted something that's very, very important: uh, the importance of keeping communication channels open um and really <clears throat> nipping any kind of conflicts in the bud um as and when they occur by by really just talking about the problems you know don't let any kind of conflict any kind of problem that you're experiencing in the family with your family members um sit and simmer because i think that's where these problems build up and uh, you know Uh, in families you start to see the impact on relationships and uh, it's very important to empathize you know if you have a family member who's you know it's it's hard sometimes to think from another person's perspective but sometimes like you were mentioning the example of you know older parents insisting on going out and doing grocery shopping um that's what they used to doing um yeah. and it's hard to you know think from their perspective but i know a lot of uh, you know our clients and people have been saying that this that was the only thing that we used to look forward to in the day kare kya we don't have these things to you know look forward to in the day we're feeling stuck um and it's important for us to empathize with our family members and try and think about why they're doing this you know i mean when we stop when we start to think like that and stop thinking about um, you know about it from the perspective of them just being very stubborn and not uh, you know listening to what we have to say 
it, I think it really helps us get another perspective on why they're saying this. And maybe we can also offer some sort of other solution. I know a lot of, um, you know, a lot of families have spoken about the kinds of concerns they have, particularly with elderly, because they're vulnerable, uh, you know, when they engage in these kind of activities. And, you know, they've, they've kind of come to a sort of compromise that's acceptable uh you know in in terms of uh, changing some of the activities and maybe it's it's also you know out of their need to feel important feel that they can still do something uh, you know independently so it's you know it's that empathy and that you know talking about it communicating all of these things are really really important and um i think i think those are really really important things that you've highlighted but one thing i was wondering was um you know we uh, it's we're just around the corner for the festival season and i've been hearing a lot of people ask me um you know how do we manage uh, festivals how are we going to socialize what you know what what are the risks that we you know may take you know what, what are the do's and don'ts here mm -hmm. what are your thoughts in akshi yeah तो या डेफिनेटली ये चीज तो अब हमारे घर तक आ गई है कि नो हमारी ब्रदर को मिलना है हमारी सिस्टर को मिलना है रक्षाबंधन आ रहा है कैसे सेलिब्रेट करेंगे अगर नहीं जाएंगे तो वो नाराज हो जाएंगे कुछ बहाना बना देते हैं किसी तरीके से टाल देते हैं आई वॉज जस्ट वंडरिंग के बहाना बनाने की जरूरत क्या है यू कैन जस्ट बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट एंड वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड की देखिए सिचुएशन अभी ऐसी नहीं है कि हम एक्चुअली में मिल सके लोगों देखिए मिलना अगर बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है तो अगेन आपकी चॉइस है आपको सोचना पड़ेगा कि इसके भी कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस हो सकते हैं बट जहां तक हो सकता है हम अगर अवॉइड कर दें तो ये बहुत हेल्पफुल रहेगा क्योंकि इतने महीनों से हम यही चीज सुन रहे हैं कि ये स्प्रेड हो रहा है स्प्रेड हो रहा है नो देर इज स्टिल फॉर कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड अभी हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट दैट लेकिन अगर ये फेस्टिवल्स में हमने और ज्यादा मिलना जुलना या सोशल इंटरेक्शन शुरू कर दिया तो ये बीमारी और ज्यादा फैलने का रिस्क है कि ये स्प्रेड हो रहा है स्प्रेड हो रहा है देयर इज स्टिल अ रिस्क फॉर कम्युनिटी या या इज इट ओके नाउ या या दैट्स फाइन सॉरी ठीक है तो हमें अभी रिस्पॉन्सिबल सोशलाइजेशन की जरूरत है कि अगर मुझे कुछ जगह पे जाना भी पड़ता है तो उसके कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस भी मुझे समझने पड़ेंगे क्योंकि जैसे हमने कहा कि न्यू नॉर्मल है ये तो ये इस साल के एंड तक तो एटलीस्ट रहेगा अब वैक्सीन बनती है या वायरस म्यूटेट करता है हमें नहीं पता बट ये सारी चीजों का ध्यान रखकर ही हमें लोगों से मिलना जरूरी हो जाता है और जब हम बात करते हैं सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग की तो इट इज जस्ट फिजिकल डिस्टेंसिंग हम ये नहीं कह रहे हैं कि आपको इमोशनली भी लोगों से अपना रिश्ता तोड़ना है आप पूरे तरीके से उनके साथ इमोशनली जुड़े रह सकते हैं आपके पास फोन है आपके पास इंटरनेट का सुविधा है आप किसी भी तरीके से उनसे फिजिकली दूर रह के भी इमोशनली क्लोज रह सकते हैं बहुत सारे ऐसे परिवार होते भी हैं जो कि नॉर्मल सिचुएशन में भी अलग अलग शहरों में या अलग अलग कंट्रीज में रह रहे होते हैं तो वो कैसे कनेक्टेड रहते हैं वो भी तो करते ही है ना वो भी तो एक दूसरे के साथ बात करते हैं हाल चाल पूछते हैं खाना खाया कि नहीं ये पूछते हैं तो हम क्यों नहीं इसको कुछ टाइम तक यूज कर सकते क्योंकि ये सिर्फ एक टेम्परेरी सिचुएशन है जिसमें हमको अपनी तरफ से पूरे तरीके से रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी निभानी है तो जितना किसी इंसान से हम दूर रह पाए जितना सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग को फॉलो कर पाए जितने सरकार की गाइडलाइंस हैं, उनको फॉलो कर पाए उतना ज्यादा ये अच्छा रहेगा उतना ज्यादा इस क्राइसिस से निकलने के लिए ये जरूरी भी है लेकिन जैसे मैं बार बार ये कहती हूँ कि इमोशनली हमको दूर होने की जरूरत नहीं है हम अपनों से बात कर सकते हैं हम वर्चुअल पार्टीज भी कर सकते हैं ये मैंने एक नई टर्म सुनी है कि आप वर्चुअली बहुत सारे लोग मिलजुल के गप्पे मार रहे हैं या यू नो डिनर कर रहे हैं या कुछ भी गेम्स खेल रहे हैं ये आजकल इतनी सारी टेक्निक्स आ गई हैं इतने तरीके हैं जिनसे आप अपनों के साथ मिलजुल के रह सकते हैं सिर्फ आपको ये करना है कि फिजिकली थोड़ा दूर रहने की जरूरत है ट्राई टू अवॉइड मीटिंग पीपल फेस टू फेस एज मच एज पॉसिबल और अगर आप नहीं अवॉइड कर सकते हैं 
तो आपको कंप्लीट प्रिकॉशंस फॉलो करने की जरूरत है बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट यू नो समथिंग दैट वी कैन ओवर ये बहुत सीरियस सिचुएशन में से अब गुजर रहे हैं और हमें पूरे तरीके से ध्यान रखने की जरूरत है कि हम इसको और स्प्रेड ना करें तो ये चीजें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है आजकल के समय में Minakshi, I think these are also very, very important uh, aspects that you've uh, brought out. It, it's really about uh, maintaining the social distance, but not the emotional distance. And again, it's it's so important to stay safe and um, socialize with responsibility. So if you are meeting relatives or friends, be responsible about it. Um, I, I I think the you know we all have to. This is a personal decision. It's something that we have to take a call on what is absolutely essential, um, and what 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 can be avoided um, because it's in our best interests and our safety in the long run. Um, mm-hmm. And you highlighted a very important aspect of you know using technology. Um, we've been uh, you know highlighting the importance of using technology to commun stay connected uh, with. your family members if you're not um able to go and meet them um and it's it's really uh, amazing how many different platforms are available where you can you know do so many different things uh, you know o- over technology and um i think these are really safe ways to uh, keep in touch and mm-hmm. uh, communicate with family members and friends fun ways also uh, so yeah. i think it's really really important that we try and do some of uh, those things yeah um, so i would also like to add one more thing here ki again jo communication ki hum baat karte hain wo yahan pe bhi bahut zaruri ho jata hai jaise maine shuruaat mein bhi kaha ki log naraz ho jayenge ya log bura maan jayenge देखिए अगर आप उनको क्लियर वे में समझाएंगे कि हम क्यों कर रहे हैं ऐसा हो सकता है कि शायद वो समझ जाए क्योंकि देखिए कोई भी बीमार नहीं पड़ना चाहता है चाहे जितना भी इस चीज को ओवरलुक करने की कोशिश करें हम एक तरीके से उनको भी प्रोटेक्ट कर रहे हैं खुद को ही नहीं हम उनको भी प्रोटेक्ट कर रहे हैं उनके परिवार को भी बचा रहे हैं सो so, इस वे में अगर हम कम्युनिकेट कर दें राधर दिन के हम बहाने बनाएंगे ये रीजन है वो रीजन है जस्ट यू नो टेल देम डायरेक्टली दैट दीज आर द रीजन वाई वी आर नॉट मीटिंग देम वाई वी आर अवॉइडिंग सोशलाइजिंग बट ये सिर्फ टेम्परेरी है ऐसा तो है नहीं कि हम उनसे कभी मिलेंगे नहीं या हम कभी उनके साथ यू नो इंटरेक्ट नहीं करेंगे तो अभी के लिए हम ये गाइडलाइंस फॉलो करें जैसे ही सिचुएशन इंप्रूव होती है तब हम दोबारा मिल लेंगे सो दिस दिस इज अ वे इन विच यू नो दे कैन बी मेड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि ये सिचुएशन ऐसे हैंडल की जा सकती है तो uh, ये सारी बातें हमने अभी तक जो की हैं एक इंडिविजुअल को लेकर की हैं या उसके सोशल इंटरेक्शन या फैमिली इंटरेक्शन को लेकर की है बट मेरे दिमाग में ये भी ख्याल आता है कि आजकल जो हमारी वर्क लाइफ है वो भी काफी बदल चुकी है हमारा जो काम पहले जा बाहर जाकर करना होता था अब हम घर से कर रहे हैं ना बहुत सारे चेंजेस आ गए मतलब इट्स अ कंप्लीट 360 डिग्री टर्न सो उस सिचुएशन में आपके क्या थॉट्स हैं कि हम कैसे मैनेज करें अपना घर पे रहना या अपना नया रूटीन हाउ कैन बी यू नो मैनेज एंड कोप विद दैट yeah i think this is a very very um difficult area for many people um i think uh, you know initially it seemed like a lot of fun to be working from home not having to go to uh, you know travel uh, beat the traffic and head to office every day and um uh, over the past few months i know a lot of my friends colleagues a lot of people who have actually called in to say that they're finding it very very challenging because uh, this new way of working is 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 just becoming difficult because it's it's so hard to maintain that work life balance and i think that's really one of the things that we have to very consciously be aware of that um you know even though we're working from home uh if you're beginning to feel overwhelmed by your office work and the housework it's probably time to just pause and take a you know a step back and think about 
what you need to do to be more balanced in the way that you're working because uh, as you were saying this is this is really the new normal this is the way that things are going to be at least for the next couple of months and mm-hmm. um, you know initially i know a lot of people are saying tickets you know it's just a matter of some time and then we'll go back and they're really looking forward to going back to the office and getting back to that routine and that's not happening now so it's beginning to, you're, you're beginning to feel that burden but um, i think the first thing that i is really important is to try and see how you can maintain some sort of a routine so i know now a lot of um, you know children are started with uh, you know online classes um, you know women are working from home plus managing the household um, you know it's it's difficult to have you know three or four family members in the house all having to work from home it's difficult to even just find a place so it's you know following a routine becomes really important because then you can try and work around some of those problems you know i've had that experience where i'll be you know doing a, a call or a session or something and then uh, you know i'll be hearing uh, some, you know my, my husband in the background on a call or my people <laughs> coming running in so it's something that we're all experiencing and we have to figure out ways to get around it so following a routine is really really important um you know it's it's important to say that when you're working um that's that's not a time where you can squeeze in some household work so keep your work very separate from your household routine um whatever you have to do in terms of household chores fix a time for that try and see what you can finish within that time don't let those keep those boundaries as separate as you can because that's very very important um try and see how you can share household responsibilities and i know a lot of women right now uh, particularly experiencing uh, a lot of stress related to this because they feel overburdened with you know having to manage all the household work um, as well as their, uh, you know the work that they're doing at um, in the workplace and it's important to see how you can try and distribute responsibilities try and see if you can share some of the responsibilities or try and see if you can come up with ways when you can take over um, certain responsibilities to allow one person to work stress free so for example if you have um, you know an older family member in the house who you are having to care for um it, it's becoming incredibly difficult for some people to manage work plus caring plus the household work to see if you can allocate the time that you're um, you know spending across these three amongst members in the family so is there some time when you can say that okay you know from say 10 to 12 this is the time where i'm only going to close the door i'm going to work and finish up whatever i can in terms of my office related work but this is the time when i expect my um, you know the my my child to take responsibility and take care of you know grandfather if there's anything that he requires at this time so the responsibility is on the grandchild at that time then you know after lunch or something maybe then uh, you know that responsibility shifts to um, you know your husband is taking that responsibility for taking care of two grandfather's needs or something so it's just an example of seeing how you can really distribute the key responsibilities that you have to take care of as a family so it's not just about you know the cleaning work or the cooking it's also about how you maintain other things that you have to do and um, taking care of uh, you know a family member uh, in the house is is really uh, can be very challenging right now and that's one important thing that you have to try and uh, see how you can fit that in by sharing responsibility um the other really really important thing is see how you can in that routine schedule a break um it's important to get back your uh, you know feel rejuvenated and very important um is how can you unplug from work um i i can't uh, you know emphasize this more uh, but definitely when you're taking a break see how you can switch off completely from your office work that's something that you have it's it's a, it's a new learning that we all have to um you know kind of experience and learn but um you know when we if it means switching off your devices closing your emails not looking at your phone for a particular time in the day it's something that you need 
if you need to inform someone at work that this is a time when I won't be able to respond to emails because I have to take up other responsibilities, um, do it because it's it's a situation that we're all experiencing. Um, and I think it's very important for everybody to be more sensitive towards this. Um, and that's the real way in which we can all work towards better work life balance. Mm -hmm. तो बहुत ही प्रैक्टिकल आपने सॉल्यूशंस दिए हैं एक वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस बनाने के लिए तो एज यू टोल के रूटीन जो हम बहुत कैजुअली लेते हैं कि कभी कुछ कर लिया कभी कुछ कर लिया टू मेक द प्रॉपर वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस हैपन आपको रूटीन फॉलो करने की बहुत जरूरत है इसमें आपको पता होना चाहिए कि ये टाइम मेरे काम करने के लिए है और ये मेरे घर के लिए है अगर आप वो डिसाइड कर लेंगे तो काफी हद तक स्ट्रेस कम हो सकता है और अगर आप घर का भी काम करना चाह रहे हैं तो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज कैसे शेयर करनी है ये भी हमें आना चाहिए सो so अगेन ये भी एक प्रैक्टिकल चीज है जो कि आप अपनी फैमिली के साथ डिस्कस कर सकते हैं ब्रेक लेना यानी कि अपने लिए टाइम निकालना अगर सारा दिन हम ऑफिस का काम और घर के कामों में लगे रहेंगे तो डेफिनेटली बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रेस हो जाता है और कभी कभी इतना स्ट्रेस जो है हो सकता है कि फिजिकल या इमोशनल uh, डिस्टर्बेंस का कारण भी बन जाए तो जितना पॉसिबल हो सके ब्रेक्स लेना भी बहुत जरूरी है अगर आप काम करते करते बीच में दस मिनट की या पंद्रह पंद्रह मिनट की भी ब्रेक्स लेते हैं तो आपके ओवरऑल हेल्थ और वेलबींग के लिए ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट हो सकता है चौथी चीज अनप्लग करना मुझे पता होना चाहिए कि मेरे ऑफिस के आर्स कब खत्म हो रहे हैं और उसके बाद मुझे अनप्लग कब करना है अगर मैं ऑफिस के काम को घर के काम में स्पिल ओवर का होने दूं और अगर घर के काम करते करते मैं ऑफिस का काम भी कर रही हूं तो दोनों चीजें जो है मैं इफेक्टिवली नहीं कर पाऊंगी तो मुझे ये चीज को सेपरेट करने की जरूरत है कि दोनों के लिए अलग टाइम हो और कब एक काम खत्म हो कब दूसरा शुरू हो इसका मुझे एक आइडिया हो ताकि मैं दोनों को पूरे तरीके से कर सकू इफेक्टिवली कर सकू तो ये बहुत प्रैक्टिकल सॉल्यूशन है जो कि हम सबको अपनी लाइफ में यूटिलाइज करने चाहिए ऑल दो डिफिकल्ट होते हैं नेचुरली uh, नहीं आते हैं पर जितना कंसिस्टेंटली हम इनको करेंगे उतना ही ज्यादा हम अपने आप को स्ट्रेस फ्री रख पाएंगे उतना ही ज्यादा हम खुश रह पाएंगे uh, किसी को अगर कोई सवाल पूछना हो इफ देर आर एनी मोर क्वेश्चन यू कैन प्लीज टाइप दम इन द चैट विंडो yeah and also a quick check i think we did not do a mood emoji check today uh, but uh, i wanted to check with all of you as to how you are doing in terms of coping with the new normal and uh, do do type in your challenges if you have any or any questions you have uh, we are here to answer your questions we really apologize for the late start i know some of you logged in and then you had to uh, you did not see us here uh, unfortunately my laptop camera stopped working so i had to switch to another device uh, i think while we are waiting for some questions to come in minakshi uh ek jo bahut important cheez hai and you know i can share this example from my work uh, when i used to work in uh, you know in in uh, in my I, it services is that you know we used to host a lot of we had very large teams and we used to do a lot of virtual meetings mm -hmm. and uh, obviously us time pe this was uh, you know it was to bridge the gap between the teams who were across locations and hum uh, virtual parties bhi karte the to virtual parties kaise karte the hum hum uh, us ki team ke liye kuch order karte the aur wo hamare liye यहाँ लोकल वेंडर से हमारे हमारी टीम के लिए कुछ ऑर्डर करते थे सो आई थिंक दिस इज अ ग्रेट वे फॉर यू टू सेलिब्रेट योर फेस्टिवल्स यू नो अगर आप नहीं जा पा रहे हैं मिलने के लिए अपने बहनों को या भाइयों को तो आप उनके लिए आप ऑर्डर करिए जो आप उनके साथ खाना चाहते हैं वो आपके लिए ऑर्डर करेंगे एंड देन यू हैव अ नाइस जूम पार्टी और एन ऑनलाइन पार्टी एंजॉय और एंजॉय योर टाइम यू नो सो I just thought I'll share this example because it just struck me that, uh, you know, uh, you know, in these large teams, it's a there's a lot of effort which is put into engaging virtual teams. 
and unfortunately now the word has become a virtual word and everybody so we have to go that extra mile to engage everyone right in the, you know in the relationships or uh, whether it's you know our um, families or mm-hmm. your work life so i it it takes a little extra जिन चीजों को हम पहले बहुत कैजुअली लेते थे कि चलो अपने ही हैं कभी भी मिल लेंगे कभी भी बात कर लेंगे अब उसके लिए एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट लगाना पड़ रहा है उसके लिए प्लान करना पड़ता है कब मिलना है कहाँ मिलना है कैसे करना है सब कुछ सो या एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट तो जरूर लगेगा पर ये फ्रूटफुल भी रहेगा आप अगर थोड़ा सा एफर्ट लगा के भी अपनों के साथ टाइम स्पेंड कर पाए नो इट वुड बी वर्थ इट जरूर सोचिए कि कैसे आप ये पार्टीज प्लान कर सकते हैं कैसे आप उनको गिफ्ट भेज सकते हैं कैसे आप उनको बता सकते हैं दैट यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट देम यू नो सिर्फ कम्युनिकेशन की जरूरत है ये बहुत जरूरी है कि आप उनको बताते रहें कि आप उनके बारे में सोच रहे हैं या आप उनको मिस कर रहे हैं या आप उनसे बात करना चाहते हैं बड़ी छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं बट बहुत मैटर करती है ये तो यह बहुत बढ़िया तरीका है जो आपने बताया ये so mm-hmm. that can be implemented yeah so do type in your questions if people have questions or uh, uh, you know um, any suggestions or uh, any other aspects of uh, you know your life which you think we haven't covered today uh, and you think we should be covering it in some other topic some other day you know surely we'll do that uh Uh, Jashree, I think uh, one of the things which you talked about was, you know, um, and we have had a previous session around uh, caregiving, and uh, <clears throat> you, you know, uh, and I think in in that session we talked about that a lot of people will now once you go back to the normal days, people will want to stay at home and work from home and be able to support their elderly. So. Uh, uh, that's a very important point because a lot of people have somebody elderly staying at home whom they have to support you know and uh, so taking time off unplugging i think if you can just talk a little bit take a you know another minute or so and talk a little bit about the unplugging aspect i think that's very important because hum lag hum sab log koshish to bahut karte hain lekin itna aasan nahi hota unplug karna definitely and i think this is something that we tend to ignore um as caregivers so a lot of times when we are providing care for um a family member um you know we 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 often tend to think that it's something that's our responsibility our duty and um which which definitely it is but um if you are experiencing signs of burnout or stress um where you're beginning to feel overwhelmed by your caregiving responsibilities or you find that you're becoming irritable towards the person that you're providing care for and, and care can care can be a range of things care can mean just having needing to check in on somebody regularly um all the way up to providing constant support for um, you know basic daily needs you know helping somebody feed bathe personal care so it's a it's a huge range of what a providing care means and each of you know providing care can be um mentally as well as physically challenging for a care giver so even if it is just checking in on a, a you know elderly family member at regular intervals sometimes we've seen a lot of caregivers who are who are struggling with how to manage other responsibilities plus do this and um because they they feel that this is something that's their responsibility and their duty um and they constantly have to do it and they make efforts to do it very very well um you know they don't realize that it's actually causing that kind of stress and and burden and then they you know they feel that it's um that it's wrong to take a break so there's this sense of guilt um and it's important to realize that by taking a break and you're actually you're caring for yourself because you're allowing yourself to take that pause from 
these variety of things that you've been doing through the day. Um, that's your me time. Self-care is very, very important because not only is it important for you to regain your, uh, your mental strength, your physical strength and energy, but it's also very important for you to actually play your role as a caregiver um, in a more effective and efficient way because there's no point in if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed um, you're, you're going to feel irritable you're going to you know ultimately in some way or the other even if it's by you know saying some harsh words and these things happen uh, it, it'll be taken out on the person that you're providing care for um, so we see this a lot we see it a lot when we're uh, talking about providing care for elderly we see it a lot um, also in uh, mothers with young children. So this it's it's very important that if you're playing the role of a caregiver to take time out, take that break um, and not feel guilty about taking that break because that's the time because where you spend for yourself to care for yourself, do something enjoyable, do something that gives you pleasure, focus on yourself because that's what's going to help you to provide better care and continue providing care in a way that makes you find that role enjoyable and satisfying and not out of a sense of irritation yeah yeah well i think very well said very well summarized jayashree so i we are almost to the end of our session and uh, just to finish that conversation on friday at the same time at 6 pm and we promise to start on time uh, we, we have Dr. Om Prakash, uh, he's a psychiatrist from uh, IBHAS. Uh, he will be joining us and we are hosting our uh, a, a, support, a, a talk on dementia and its challenges. And it's a, it's, a, it's a talk for all caregivers or any other professionals or experts who would like to join the conversation and share their views. So we'll be more than happy. Uh, to answer your question. So Dr. Jayashree will be in conversation with Dr. Om Prakash. Uh, he's a psychiatrist from Ibhas, Delhi. And uh, uh, please watch out for our Facebook page to see the invite and the link. Again, for any counseling support, uh, we are here at these numbers. And we have a WhatsApp uh, number also. And uh, this program is being brought to you through Samvedna Senior Care Foundation. So uh, in case uh, any one of you would like to contribute, please do uh, go to this link and uh, you can show, show us your gratitude. Uh, thank you for joining in today. And uh, see you uh, all on Friday evening, 6 p.m. Uh, and if you have any questions specifically for dementia, uh, do let us know. You can type it in. You can send us your comment, your questions in advance, and uh, we'll be we'll be happy to take take, take them up for you. Thank you, uh, Jashri. Thank you, Minakshi, for this uh, uh, event and coming coming together to share your views. So thanks thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.